guys, welcome back to Nerd Insider. I'm Danny. I'm Ray. And today we have Dragon Ball Super English Dub episode 13. So this is episode 13 of Dragon Ball Super English Dub, the latest episode. Uh, if you guys are wondering about last week's, was it last week's or two weeks ago? But the episode before this, episode 12, if you guys are wondering about that, it's already up. We posted it earlier this week. And if I sound weird, I apologize. I've He's been sick. sick for the past few days. So, yeah, that's that. So on the last episode, we got to see how much their battle really had impact on the universe. And this week is part four of the battle. Um, I can't wait to see how much Goku is going to grow from this, how much stronger he's going to get. So anyways, with that being said, let's get started. Goku. Really? What? Really? They're really showing how how much Goku's struggling here compared to Beerus. Like how much effort it takes yeah. for Goku. Beerus just using one hand. Yeah, and Goku seems like he's putting like all his force into it. it seems the best we can hope for would be to limit the annihilation to your star system and a few of your closest neighbors. I'm speculating that's what my lord will attempt. Wow. If the energy ensnared it will prove even gods can be caught unaware. Uh oh. Wow. There are two fighters having a fight, and their powers are big and scary. Way to really dumb it down. <laughs> what the what? fuck? An autograph? Really? The fuck? Oh. oh. Now we see how much yeah. damage it's gonna do, how much damage it's doing to Earth. Earth Defenders is no way! Go, Dad! <laughs> oh shit! Thank goodness you're here! Oh, oh, I thought he was gonna help out Goku. Yeah, like, no. what? This just a really bright light. Yeah, light show. Explanation time. It, you didn't stop shit. The power of love. Like <laughs> power of love. I've neutralized the energy that had built up between us so we can resume with a clean slate. But oh, how it was beautiful. Not requiring a 100% power up. You powered up just now? Yes. Oh, shit. They almost destroyed the universe and Beerus wasn't even using all his power. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh! Bad habit of dropping your car. Oh! You clearly weren't bluffing 100%! Yeah! Believe me, I'm not holding back either! So this is for real this time? How many times have we said that now? Ooh! Here's one you won't be able to dodge. Ooh! Oh shit! Whoa! Oh! oh. Damn! Hard-headed much? <laughs> right? Headbutting is for straight fights, not But they aren't making any shockwaves, like all the forces going straight into each other. Why would that be? The shockwaves were a show. And now, they're both just fighting like they want it to end. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Again and again, you managed to overcome your own limitations. Oh, fuck. Goku's power is going down. Ooh. <laughs> Wait, that's not red anymore. Yeah, he's back to just being Super Saiyan. Right, because oh, they yeah, have their powers back. Didn't that happen in the movie too? Yeah, sure. yeah, I think so. I think so. But this Super Saiyan should be stronger than his previous Super Saiyan. Yeah, because it's like a power down from Super Saiyan God. No, I'm talking comparing between oh. Super Saiyan. Oh, shit. Here. We're telling you it's not over yet. You will kindly remove your hand. 
I said remove it. What? What's with you? What was that for? He saved your ass. Farewell to an opponent who brought me so much. Oh shit. Back to using 10% again. Cause I remember in the movie after he became he turned back to Super Saiyan, he was stronger. Cause his body got used to the power or whatever. The glowing red aura of your Super Saiyan God power is gone. You're normal again. Yeah, he didn't realize it in the movie too. I guess I did lose it, but I'm not feeling weaker at all. Yeah, he still feels the strength of Super Saiyan God. Even though the Super Saiyan God power expired, your body has learned from the experience. That, that's the explanation I was thinking about. In a sense, the God power is part of you now. The red glow of yep. Saiyan that's what I was talking about. The strength now See, back then, in Goku's regular Super Saiyan form, he couldn't even lay a finger yeah. on Beerus. Why are you still laughing? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck was that scream, Beerus? This episode was great! Yeah. Because I forgot about the... Hold on. Oh shit, it's a new... Ending. Yeah. But yeah, I forgot about that whole part in the movie when Goku forgot. Yeah, he lost his uh, god form, mm -hmm. but like the powers are still there. Are still there, yeah. Like his body was able to adapt and learn the power. Mm -hmm. Goku's stronger because his body adapted to Super Saiyan God strength is still in him his body absorbed sort of like the way he was fighting and still kept it in yeah. him to me i enjoyed more of like the hand-to-hand -hand combat where they're like really going at each other versus like goku's what do you how do you say it Kamehameha. Kamehameha. yeah yeah because with the uh, kamehameha wave and then beerus's uh energy blast it was like a stalemate yeah you know but with the physical hand-to-hand -hand combat, you see more of... You really see them actually enjoying the battle, I yeah. feel like, versus that stalemate. Because, like Beer said, who who really enjoys a stalemate? And, and it's then, more entertaining yeah. for us. Hand-to-hand -hand physical combat is better to see than just them like, do, ah, keep doing that shit or just like, doing that shit. You yeah, know? like doing all of that screaming and yelling and yeah. like just them trying to like push the energy both energies towards each other like yeah the hand-to-hand -hand was certainly more fun i have a question did beerus just save the universe in this episode when that yeah blast exploded because yeah. he neutralized it he yeah. said <laughs> who knew right a destroyer saved the universe rather than destroying it and even last episode too he was he was concerned about the people watching. I I saw it as him being concerned, like, oh, let's go higher so that these aren't they're not in the way. It's also he doesn't want them to like interfere with the fight, and it's also I saw it as a concern for their safety. It's all thanks to Goku, really, because yeah. he wants to fight him more. Yeah, like, he doesn't want to end it already. Mm -hmm. You know, so this galaxy has to survive in order to fight to keep going. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was super funny when um, Goku started like headbutting. Yeah. He's literally hard headed. What what did Beerus say is like headbutts are for street, street fights. Fight. Yeah. When he when he grabbed uh, Beerus like that, like the first thing that came to mind is like, you're holding Jesus <laughs> in your with your bare hands, like holy shit. <laughs> yeah. You're holding a god. Yeah. Like, damn. That's, that was that's how much he's uh, advanced. Yeah, how much he's powered up. Yeah. One thing I felt like I should have noticed was when Gohan tried to save Videl or stood in front of her, I felt like that was already a sign that Goku's oh. that Goku should be losing the Super Saiyan God powers because like like they said it's a borrowed power. Yeah. He borrowed I it from I completely forgot about that. I know. Part. I forgot. It's like and then when they mentioned that I was like, "Oh yeah, cuz we saw them and then we saw like Trunks and everybody, you know, fly onto the ship." 
So it's something I feel like I should have, we should have noticed. So what did you guys think of this episode? Did you guys enjoy it as much as we did? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm Danny. I'm Ray. And this has been your inside scoop on all things nerdy. 